Well, here we go. All right, folks. Hey, Larry here from Larry's Fountain Pins. And today we have Frank from Fredless Pins. And Frank, welcome. And it's an honor to have you back. Thank you. And um, everybody, you, it's great to be here. Everybody wants to get to Thanks know you me. and see what you got. Okay. Okay. It's yours. Take it away. We had that great interview uh, last month. Yeah, it's just been really good. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. Yes. Good. Okay. Well, welcome to uh, Larry's uh, virtual pen show of me, of Frank Federalist Pens. <laughs> so let's get started here. I've uh, basically collected a little bit of something for everybody. This is my fifth anniversary month. Uh, this is five years for me now in business and retail. Uh, I have a sale going on. Uh, I'm already discounted every day on a lot of brands. Some brands, of course, I can't discount because the vendor doesn't want us to. <laughs> but I have a code going on right now called FIFTH. If you enter that code at checkout, you save 10% more. Even if I'm already 20% off, you save more than 20. So right now, deals may never be the same again. Uh, don't forget, too, that I've also added Larry. Uh, Larry is a discount code. So you loyal listeners of Larry Fountain Pens, enter the code Larry at checkout to save 10%. They both can't be used together, but... I have at least 10 discount codes going on. Wow. Pen forms, pen magazines, Larry, fifth right now, uh, Pen Pal, uh, I have something for Pen World. Uh, you name it, Fountain Pen Network, there is a code. All you have to do is fish around and look around social media for a code, and you can save more than my already 20% off. Right. And more. That's cool. Yeah, every little bit helps. Yep. Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay, uh, let me get started uh, with Diplomat pens uh, uh, to look at something that's quite affordable. We start off with the uh, Diplomat Magnum, in case you're not familiar with this pen. Yeah. This is uh, Diplomat's price beater. This has got a Yovo nib as well, steel, of course. But there's actually a, a little bit of spring action going on with this nib. And if you write with it, I have my Rhodia wire bound 16 pad. If you write with it, uh, you would swear it's not flexible, you know, by any stretch, but it is uh, spring like it's got some nice spring to it. So if you like a little bit of pressure, you can actually get a little bit of variation. This okay, is my Egypt with uh, my medium nib. I like the word Egypt. Uh, I was taught that early on. Uh, by somebody in, in pens that uh, it gives you a chance to really try all the niche strokes at once quickly. It's something really good to do at a table uh, when you're looking at something, especially if you're testing uh, an old flex nib or something like that, you know? Okay. So it's a good thing to use. So, is, is, uh, is, is that a wet nib? Uh, how's a smooth it's, nib? It's pretty juicy. And it right. comes in some really cool colors. Uh, we've got different colors here. And like I said, they're $25. I like that. Uh, every like day up that. and down. It comes. Wow. Nice little ruby. It comes in uh, fine, medium, and broad, all three nib sizes. It also comes in uh, ballpoint version for 20 I have mm -hmm. both of them uh, in house here. And here's like a purplish one, purplish blue. Wow. There's some nice colors so coming variation okay. now. Yeah. yeah. Now you can see it. Yeah. So that's uh, Diplomat's price beater. If it's got a little ink window there for it reminds you something. Right. Uh, I think they've done that on purpose. You know, this is meant to go after uh, the Safari. You know, now, real, around real, the real quick, let yeah. me ask you a question. Now, is that a cartridge or converter or both? It's cartridge and converter. Okay. Uh, it comes cartridge only. You can buy a converter. Now, do you yes, sell the converter at your store? You yeah, I have, I have four or $5 converters for okay. it. You can buy a Schmidt for $7, but... I have converters for those four bucks to the right. Universal, also on the site. Cool. So there is the Diplomat price beater. Uh, we move up uh, from there to uh, the Esteem model. And this is their Cobalt Blue. Oh, that's pretty. I guess you could say that this is also something going after. Uh, this is going after kind of like the, the studio a little bit. This is yeah. Studio Fighter. Yeah. Both German brands. Uh, this one isn't talked about too much, but it is a really nice EDC pen. These are 85 list. I have them on the site for 65. Don't forget the code. You save another 650. Right. You get this pen for under 60 bucks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is Cobalt 
It comes in uh, matte chrome. It comes in uh, black lacquer. Wow, I and like that one. Man, yeah, that's yeah, sharp, man. Yeah, the black lacquer, yeah, that really $85. Yeah. Again, fine medium broad nibs. Uh, from there, we move on to uh, a popular favorite, uh, the Arrow. Oh, there it is. Yeah. The, <laughs> you know, I love Arrow. Arrow just. I it's... know. I know. You wanted that turquoise pen. And it It'll happen. Off it it will happen soon. Out. Yeah, we, we will have it soon. Tried to get it, and they told me uh, over there at Yaffa that it was going already. It's like you just advertised it, you know. It's like, yep, it went fast. So this is the orange. Uh, it comes in so many colors now. Uh, purple is a new one. Uh, turquoise. The, I remember that turquoise. Turquoise. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's there's one. Still, there's the gray. It. There's yeah. the raw uh, factory finish. You know. You know, I have never had a problem with any of my diplomat arrows or any of my diplomats. They're Good great. Diplomats are. Are awesome, Great they're awesome. yeah. Yogo nibs, yeah. I've been a diplomat dealer actually even before Yaffa had them. I had them my second year of business. I had them when Points of Distinction represented them in the U.S., mm -hmm. a smaller company, and uh, then Yaffa got them, so it was good, it, real smooth transition for me right into that. I want to move on to the limited edition arrow, which not everybody might know about or might have forgotten about. This is called the Volute. Uh, v O U V O L U T E. Volute. Gorgeous pin. This has got a ceramic coating. This is a hundred dollars more, but it's got a ceramic coating. And the way it's done, it's dipped, and no two are alike. They're uniquely uh, they're numbered. I like that this clip on it. Pretty... That nice black looking clip. That that's stunning. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Same it's idea. Stunning. Yes. Yeah. Really cool. A black nib would have been really good, but uh, yeah, wouldn't it? There yeah. Nibs. yeah, yeah. It's got that nice ceramic coating. Uh, so really good. This is two ninety five list. Again, yeah. The if they want a gold 250. nib, that's uh, that's an upgrade now for the gold. That's nib. an upgrade. Yep, yeah. yep. You can and get a gold nib on any of the diplomat pens. It is a two hundred dollar upcharge. I also want to show the excellence pen which is their uh, larger size pen. This is the uh, matte, uh, black matte on the Excellence pen. This okay. is 220, this is 220 list, same nib as uh, the Arrow. It is the number six Yogo. This is 220 list, and I have them in stock as well. That's a and nice this also comes yeah. in all nice different finishes, yeah. That's a nice There's uh, Marrakesh Brown, there's a blue, there's all different finishes on them. There's a nice green, evergreen, really nice colors on these. Yeah. These are awesome. Very, so this is their oversized. Yeah. I like that matte on it too, yeah. Yeah, the matte, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice color, yep. So that is all the Diplomats that I uh, have in stock. Uh, any other Diplomat pen that you know of that I didn't show, just ask me. I can always get it. Uh, while we were talking about Lamy and the price beater. I wanted to show off the new uh, candy pens too. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Yeah. Oh. These are the limited edition candy colors. Oh, my star. You know, you know when Lamy makes the clip the same color? Oh. Like you them. You know, they do that every once in a while. Mm. Did that with all their matte ones to a good degree. So, yeah, so this is the purple one that yep. is a little lighter than the original violet one was. But again, sweet. All in that nice matte finish. Again, no price difference. Uh, you know, 30 list, same thing. Let's look at that yellow all one. Them. Yeah, blue one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the yellow one, the mango. Yeah. yeah, the mango that actually has. Ink oh, man, that's this. sweet. That's sweet. Mango ink. And this is the turquoise. Yeah, so all three of these are on hand. Uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad. Uh, I will put a 1.1 stub in if you want. I. Buy loose Lamy nibs. Uh, I also will sell loose Lamy nibs too, as well, if you want that. And, and just one hand, I always have extra fine through 1.1 1 .1, uh, in stainless. Black, they only do EF to grow it. Uh, now, uh, just a reminder uh, that, that so I'll sell nibs. They don't come with the converters, but you have converters to sell, right? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. yes. To, keep, right, to keep the price down, Lamy uh, doesn't include a converter. Anymore. Exactly. Beautiful pen. Stunning. Yes. 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 All right. Cool. All right. 
that's a good segue. We'll go into uh, Pelican next. Oh, here we go. Big well, boy. Some people aren't aware that Pelican makes a nice EDC pen. It is a cartridge converter. Good news about that is this is called the Stola 3. S-T-O-L-A 3. Okay. There's the Stolas, there's a ballpoint, Stola ball, and the fountain pen is the 3. So this pen is $50 every day. It is a medium point only. It's a nice stainless medium point. Again, everything about Pelican uh -huh. is in-house. You guys know. Uh, it does come with a long standard cartridge. Oh, and okay. you, can put, you can put a regular converter in it. This takes a standard converter. And it's $50 every day. And it's the only uh, cartridge converter I have for Pelican. You guys know that I am actually the Philadelphia uh, hub master for the Pelican hubs. And I've been giving one of these away at every hub the last three years. Good looking yeah, pen though. That is this is my door pen. prize. This is Good my pen. prize. Oh, this really hurts me. Oh. Aside from the things that Pelican gives you for coming to the hub, Frank gives you, uh, Frank does a raffle for a stola. I'll be right there at the Pelican hub. Here stola. I am. All right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you are in heaven, my man. Wow. <laughs> So that is the price beater for Pelican. If you want a nice everyday carry Pelican, you don't have to worry about carrying yeah. it. So I have a lot of M200s. Uh, I'm actually still holding a lot of old stock in okay. uh, the Smoky Quartz and in the Olivine. They're oh. all new right now. Yep, these are all in the nice green Olivine. Now, what size is that? The six hundred or four? This is this is the two hundred. Two hundred, okay. This is just the two hundred. Yep, I actually have a little bit of everything. I'm going to show you guys oh, that. Okay. Do a quick Pelican yeah. lesson on what makes each one different. I have two hundreds, the eight hundreds on hand, and we'll go over each one of them. All right. Okay. So I have extra fine, fine, medium broad in uh, the Pelican steel nibs. These pens right now they list for one ninety five. I'm selling them on my site for 140 because I'm trying to sell off uh, my excess of my uh, smoky quartz. Mm -hmm. You can't even find the ink anymore because this is from like three Beautiful years ago. Pen. Beautiful. I still have olivine ink from last year. Gorgeous. I have that. Uh, olivine ink is great. It's a nice dark green. It matches the pen. Uh, there's also the Star Ruby, last year's color. We have that as well. Gorgeous. All three of these are on my site for 140 Put in the discount code, you get it for another fourteen dollars off. You buy this pen for one hundred twenty-six dollars. Question now: Are those are the steel nibs or gold nibs on steel nibs? They're all steel nibs. All steel, all steel nibs. nibs. And the uh, two hundreds are all steel nibs. Gotcha. Now, what size steel nibs do you have nibs. on them? Extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. Cool, beautiful pens. Okay, now this is from my own collection. This is the. Uh, this is the white tortoise 400. Pelican doesn't really have anything out in the, the 400 right now line that's unique. They have a black, they have a red, they have green, they have standard colors. You could buy them. No problem. I can always order them for you. But I wanted to show you the 400 pen and the 200 pen are essentially the same size. You'll see what makes them unique. Uh, you'll see a double band in the 400 pens generally. And of course, this is a 14 carat knit. Gotcha. That is the main difference between a 200 and a 400, is this is the 1400 Pelican nib. Ah, okay. And this is the gold nib. This is the gold nib. Gotcha. 14 right. carat nib. Yeah, and beautiful the, nib. Pelican really in the smaller really line. Nice yeah. yeah. Now, people, yeah, people aren't crazy about this pen because they think it's small, but honestly, once you post it, I don't post a lot of my pens. I prefer not to, but a 200 pen, I do. I will yeah. post. And I like this pen post. Nice balance. It seems a lot more uh, like a regular, you know, standard size to large size pen once it's posted. You, you, you know, real quick, I, I, I believe yeah. I, I, I'm a big Pelican fan, and I believe I have a 400 with a steel nib. And I was always okay. reluctant about getting uh, anything less than a 800. You know, I have 800s and the 1000s and the 815s, and but so... I went ahead and I got the 400, but hey, you know, okay. once you get it in your hand and start writing with it. Hold it and post it, like I said, it's, yeah. it's yeah. really It's decent. a great fountain. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So the 200 and the 400 are essentially the same pen dimension-wise. Uh, it's an upgrade, of course, obviously. With of course, it. yeah. 
So we have that. Okay, now we move to the 600 pin. So holding them end to end here, here you see. Yeah, it's a little bigger, yeah. Is noticeably bigger. And this also has the 14 carat. That's what makes the 600. It is a larger pen with the 14 karat nib. So if you like a, a smaller pen, the 400 is a good size for you. The 600 is more like a standard uh, size pen. And I have the vibrant orange and I have the violet white on hand uh, in different nib sizes. These are available. Uh, these are 550 lists. Between buying them a discount code, you get them uh, like about four. Yeah, hundred dollars at this point. Standing really fountain, great. they are gorgeous, you know, gorgeous yeah. fountain. In the code and all that, yeah. These again, these can have really had for a great price at this point. So that's them, and as you can see, comparing it to the arrow, it's yeah, almost the same size, same size, large. Yeah, it's got the cap. It's got the little finial cap on top over it. Now doesn't, now, doesn't the 600 have a little bit more girth than the arrow, or, or is it the arrow more girth than the 600? 600 has more girth. Girth, okay. Yeah. Yeah. 600's got more girth. Yeah. Okay. But now we're going to move into the 800. Okay. So this is the 600 pen, also 14 karat. That's the 600, larger than the four and the two, of course. Then we move into uh, the 800 pen. Again, size comparison, much, much larger pen. 800 pens. This is the Blue Dunes model. This Gordon. is the Strip model, too. Yeah. This, is, this is one of the newer ones called yeah. the Blue Dunes. It's really nice. You can see like a nice marble yeah. finish in blue, a little bit of purple in it as well. Really a gorgeous pen. This is the Blue Dunes. It's an 800. This is an 18 karat nib. That's what's the difference between a 600 Pelican and an 800 Pelican is. The 800 and 1,000 Pelicans have 18 karat nibs. Okay. So this is the 18K nib, a larger than the one that goes into uh, the 600, 400. 400? Yep. Uh, so now. Go. I'll show off. Oh, Remember, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Are, yeah. All Pelican nibs are in-house. Yeah. And this is the 18 karat nib. Beautiful this nib. This is the 14 karat. Yeah. So different, different sizes all together. So if you have a thousand, uh, if the thousand has a little more girth than the eight hundred. Right, right. Basically, yeah, oversized pen, but uh, the eight hundred uh, basically has the same nib, uh, almost the same girth, but much longer. This pen definitely is comfortable unposted. So I have on hand uh, Blue Dunes pens again. Like I said, that nice. Now, do, Bluish, you have, uh, do you have them uh, in the uh, uh, gold finish trim hardware or just? I don't, but I can order it. Okay. I can order any of them. They're current, no problem. The other one I have on hand is actually the metal uh, finish. The 815? The eight, yes, exactly. The 815 metal. Metal striped, exactly. Now, amazing. This is all 800s have metal uh, aluminum. Uh, mechanisms. It's all aluminum inside. Uh, on the 1002, it's all metal inside. Uh, people talked about thinking, you know, is this pen a lot heavier? You know, it's all about the G's, like you talk yeah. about grams, you know, yeah. gram size. Honestly, these two pens, I really, in my hand, I can't feel a major difference, even though this is the metal bin. Right. This is a metal. I have, yeah, I have really, the 815 yeah. and I have 800 and I have 1000. Okay. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, yeah. I have to. It's not really it. much. Uh, of a, yeah. of a weight difference. It's the people are like, oh, I must be heavy pen. Feel it. You know, I let them hold it. You know, I'm not in a hurry to let people hold pens at a pen show. Now, if we have the issue, you know, we're going to, we're going to get into that. If we do have a pen show, I'm going to post about what I see as an appropriate way uh, to deal with, with the public and all at these shows. You know, we're, we're going to social distance. We're going to wear a mask. I'm not really going to have a big thing for me, as people know, is I let them sample pens. I usually bring pens for people to sample. I'm not going to be doing that this year, not until you know we have a way to control that. You know, right. you're gonna you're gonna be able to pick up the pens on the table, but when you're done with them, you're going to place them somewhere, and I'm going to wipe them down. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's how I'm going to deal with it. Yeah, but I'm not going to just be able to freely hand hand everybody and, and their brother a pen 
not, not this year. <laughs> of course, we just talked about, we just lost some more pen shows. So right. one, who knows whether or not that's really going to happen. Uh, the next shows possible uh, are going to be, well, Raleigh ha- actually is still on the table. Raleigh in mid-August is still on the table. So we'll okay. see. If it goes, it's up to what North Carolina decides to do by the end of the month. If it goes, I will go. I will be there. Uh, after that, it's going to be Columbus at the end of October. Uh, I believe Denver is also mid-October. And then there's going to be uh, uh, Detroit in mid-November. Now, Columbus and Detroit, I go to. So for me, there'll be two shows left out of the three if we lose Raleigh as well, because basically that means everything in August, everything in September will be canceled if that happens. So we'll still have three, two of which I will go to. So they are the Pelicans. That's the tour of Pelican. That is uh, Pelican 101, basically lesson. Huh. The difference between the different series. So there they are, all nice. Uh, we'll segue into uh, Pinator from here. Ah. Pinator Pen. Uh, some people aren't sure what the deal is, what that pen is about, and how it came about, and what's going on. So again, let me give you uh, a little lesson. Uh, Pinator uh, was a paper company that had been around, you know, for centuries, and they were a paper maker in Italy. Uh, Dante Del Vecchio, everyone knows from Visconti. Yeah, yeah Dante is a friend. Been, yeah, Visconti. I first met him at a pen show. Yeah, first met him at a pen show ten years ago. He races. He's in. He races motorcycles. He's a gentleman racer. Did you say you, uh, you met him? You, you've met him. I met him. I know him. Yes, yes. He's come to the story show a lot. He is a great guy. We talk about racing and all because he knows my brother and I are, are into racing. We go to Formula Run races. We go to Montreal uh, pretty frequently to the Formula One race. We go see Indy racing. We, we talk about racing a lot. One of his former reps at Coles was also a, a gentleman racer. So there was a lot to talk about. We would all get together and talk about racing as well as pens, of course. So Dante basically isn't uh, in charge of Visconti at this point. Uh, you know, I don't want to get into that and explain how that happened, but right. basically, you know, his company, went, his company went public, you know, so yeah. he's no longer in charge of it. Uh, he was convinced to step down, you know, and he still, he still is a shareholder in Visconti. He still has influence in Visconti, just not over day-to-day operations or what pens are decided on and stuff like that. But when you still buy Visconti, I represent Visconti. I was very proud to, to gain that brand last summer. Uh, I now represent that brand. I'm real happy. And you know, Larry, you have something very special to do. I'm letting you get into that. You should have that pen in about a week or so. We'll we'll get into that when we yeah, get there. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get into that. Yo, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. But when you buy when you buy Visconti, basically you are still supporting Dante uh, to a point. You are still supporting Dante's passion and his cause and stuff like that. But basically, Dante convinced Pinator to let him make pens for them, and that's what he's essentially doing. Good. The designs that he had an idea to carry over, he's now doing a Pinator. So, everyone is aware of the Unbreakable resin that he came out with last year? Yeah, yeah, resin heard, and, yeah. Yes, okay. Go ahead and elaborate about that, yeah. Well, you don't want to throw this pen across the room with, with the cap off. Uh, but no. providing the cap stays on, the pen, because the nib, of course, will get damaged. But providing the cap stays on, nothing happens to these, to these pens. Oh, oh. I have hardwood floors. Okay. Oh. There, there is no damage. That is the whole idea of yeah. this pen. You don't have to lose any sleep over it. Unbreakable resin, steel nibs, venator. It comes in both uh, acrylic. You know, this is the nice turquoise one. He also does demos. Spread <laughs> demo. Amber again. Yeah. You are unbreakable. Let, let, let me just say this: that people that haven't tried that pen out, that they, they, they need to check it out because they're going to be really surprised how they fit so nicely in the hand, how that nib mm-hmm. writes, and it's it, it really it comfortable. Great pen, fun. It's just really a stunning pen. Now, a reason why uh, the demos are fifty dollars more list because these are one forty-five, one forty-five for an Italian pen from Dante Del Vecchio. 
you know, yeah. this pen. These are 195. Not only that, because they're demos, but they also have a special section that's gel. <gasps> okay. So he made these later, and it's actually a very comfortable grip. Comfortable fit. Ah, oh, okay. So it matches it. It's a gel finish. Totally different pen. He also has an ink meter here on them. It's also, it's almost like a word gauge to a I think, oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I, on here. Okay. How many, how many uh, roughly you have left? Yeah, I, I've yeah, never yeah. found that till now. I have that. So that. Wow. It is an upgrade over the standard. QR yeah, pens. that's Again, interesting. Cool. Drop it. Throw it across the room. Don't, <laughs> carefully. Don't <laughs> carefully. <it on. laughs> uh, the guys from Yaffa love doing that. Last year, they were throwing it all against the wall, you know, behind them there at the hotel to show all the dealers how durable they were, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. So. <laughs> So that is the standard uh, UR unbreakable resin line is what UR stands for. So that's what that stands for with that. Okay, I also have upscale penators, the honeycomb. Probably everybody heard about this was real yeah, cutting edge. Yeah, that one. Yeah. This pen is literally uh, a puzzle. It is a honeycomb. You, you can't eyedropper this pen. Because it's getting so it's going to fall right out. There is, <laughs> there's nothing solid about this cap and barrel. Gorgeous fountain pen. Gorgeous. Right. These are captive converters. They stay in place. Now let me go to the converter, converter real converter. quick. On that converter, is that the screw in or push in? It's a screw in. Okay. Yeah, it's a screw in. It has a gold quill nib. I have them in fine. I have them in medium. This is the quill mid from the nader. Uh -huh. There's some flex to it. Uh, got nice pressure when you're putting down and writing on it. Quill nib, fine medium points on them. This is the uh, honey wheat, basically, in the rose gold trim, the rose gold nib. He also has a black prince. Oh, look at that. Black one. version oh, with rose. Man. Yeah. yeah. The Black Prince is my favorite, actually. Again, Rose Gold. Yeah. No That's what I'm talking either. about right there, man. Yeah. Wow. No, no problem with either uh, fine or medium with these. Yeah. Beautiful. There is also an all-black stealth style called the Black Knight, <laughs> where the quill nib is black also. Oh, I like that. Gold. Man, that's nice. 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 Yeah. Very gorgeous. Yep. Well, it, 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 yeah. It's so hard to pick which one you want. Yes. Well, I'm going to tell people something, and you're never going to find this pen this low. This pen lists for $800. They all three of these lists for $800. Between uh, the price and my code, they're $600 right now. They're 25% off. Ooh. So if you are interested, you need to let me know. These are the three I have in the stock. I could put fine or medium uh, nibs on them. One other one I want to show you is the Mystery Filler. This is his top pen. Right now from the Niter, the mystery filler. You see got a little bit of ink, ink view window here with oh, these two. Okay. This is meant in case because yeah. the Arco model, the Arco model, the one I did, the Honeybee, the new one, the Honeybee, uh, or their 700, their 695 list, or the uh, one that is called the Arco, the Oak one. Basically, their solid barrels. So this is meant to be like an ink window. So he carries it over, of course, in the demo. You still have that. So again, same quill nib. It's called a mystery filler because when you first look at it, you have no idea how to fill it or what's going on with it. Basically, it is a captured uh, piston, same thing. Push this out, a la, almost like a button filler, except twist. Oh, okay. You see? Huh. It is a twist convert. Yeah. I got you. chapter's twist converter. You can see the total mechanism yeah. going on there. Yeah. Push how cool is that? Look at that. All right. Almost like the old, like the old Parker vac, the early vacs. You did the little twist and close. Same principle. You do an early first generation vac. You know what I'm talking about? Late thirties, the metal one, where you had to twist and close it. Now that's pretty slick. Yes. Yes. Really nice. Wow. Really nice pens. So that's all my pinators. Did Pell. We did Diplomat. Uh, last but not least, something near and dear to me. Estabrook, 
I want to talk about Estabrook Pens, and what they do. Estabrook uh, Felix, uh, yeah. Yeah. So Kenro revived the Estabrook name. Estabrook's near and dear to me because I'm here in South Jersey. I'm here in Camden County, uh, based in Cherry Hill. The Estabrook factory was in Camden, New Jersey, uh, only about seven or eight miles west of me, you know, just across the river, the Delaware River to Philly, in the Camden waterfront. The company existed for 100 years there at 10 Cooper Street. The building was basically, uh, uh, I don't think they came up with the J this way. They just come up with the Estabrook J, but the building was basically shaped like a J. You come down Cooper Street all the way down. It's like one of the main drives. Rutgers University is there along there and all. And you come down to the end. Now, of course, it is a parking lot, but uh, it's, it's an empty lot, but it's where the Estabrook factory stood. And the Estabrook factory basically took a J configuration and basically dead end of the street at the front. Uh, they basically expanded it. They started in the street there at 10 Cooper Street. They expanded, they kept building in the same place and they consumed the waterfront there where they were. RCA Victor was right next to them. Okay. In Camden, in the heyday, in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, uh, you worked for either uh, Esther Penn, you worked for Campbell Soup, or you worked for RCA Victor, uh, or you had somebody in your immediate family that did or knew somebody. You know, it was that, it was that big. All three of them were that big. So, uh, I see a lot of vintage Estabrook. I have a lot of Estabrook in my own collection. I have some vintage stuff I'm going to show off too in a little bit. Uh, the new SD pen that Kenro Revive comes in a lot of nice different colors. Yes. So uh, on hand, I have honeycomb. I have the newer colors. I have honeycomb, which is a really nice, nice honey style. Yeah. Different shades of amber and gold. Yes. Really nice. Yes. People got confused about the lilac and the blueberry. I wanted you to see that there is actually a big oh, difference. Big what difference. What you see up close. Big difference. They're not really, yeah, they're not really that close at all. So Beautiful view. Lilac, this is the yeah. purple. And this is the blueberry. Now, my blueberry has the trick on it. What uh, they call the adapter. Okay. Give your Estabrook a vintage nib. So the pen itself is 195 list. I sell them for 160. You can buy them uh, for 160 plus the discount code. You another another yeah. 14 dollars off at this. Another 16 dollars off at this point. So they're, you know, they're 140, uh, 140, 144 from 195. So you get all 50 dollars off at this point. You're not getting that anywhere. Uh, these are uh, Yogo nibs in fine, medium, broad. Beautiful. You also do dub. So that is how the pen comes normally. Or you can go for uh, the adapter that okay. allows you, basically it's been threaded, so it accepts any of the old vintage ester for new points. And it also comes with this converter. And you basically make your old time ester book nib Modern. I got some, yeah. And now you can do that. So that's a $40 upcharge to get that. You would still get right. a modern nib. You would get this adapter. And depending on what nib you got, in here is a 25, uh, 2668 nib, which is real popular. This is the standard medium nib. This is a nib that a lot of people like. Okay. I sell these separately uh, for $25. I also have uh iridium tipped door chrome green box ones there's red box for standard ester book nibs there's red box that were basically uh metal and over and tipped basically it was it wasn't really tipped it was just smoothed over sanded over to be smooth but really it's just more metal folded over so these are the 1000 series nibs the 1551 the 1555 red nib uh 1461, 20, uh, 450, 2556, 2668, 2968. These nibs are all basically folded over metal and smooth. Okay. You upgrade to the Iridium Tip 9000 series, 9450, 
9556. Then you get an actual iridium tip. tip. So they're a little more money, but I, again, I have these new old stock. I had them one hand. Uh, thanks to where we are, like I said, you always run into somebody that says, my grandfather, my somebody worked at the Estimate Factory, and you find them in antique shops. So they're, they are more available here in South Jersey than in most places. So you find a lot of this stuff. Okay. So that is the SD line. Again, very well liked, really nice. Now that was the really SD large? Was that the SD large? This is the standard SD. Okay. Oversized. I don't okay. mean okay. Yeah, the standard SD. The, uh, the standard ones, yeah. They do make oversized in Oversize. the ebony, black, in the honeycomb, gold, like I showed you, and in the lilac. They make oversized in them. They also have the new sparkle pens. Oh. Which everybody has probably heard about. They've just come out with these. Oh, wow. This is the ruby. This is Dorothy Shoe, basically. Good. These are look, diamond cast. Look at that. That's good diamonds. looking. Wow. Are, this is actual diamond dust. It's a very expensive, very expensive resin. This is diamond dust that's reclaimed responsibly you actually get a certificate with this letting you know diamond cast created with real gem quality diamonds that are ethically sourced as reclaimed chips directly from diamond cutters oh what is something like that called what is the pins are a hundred dollars more uh than uh the oversized the standard the standard estimate these are oversized yeah these are actually, uh, they're actually more than that, they're $200 more. But by the time you're done buying it off me with my discount codes and all that, you're buying for about 300 instead of 400. That's so, again, good I'm like 25% off at this point. With that you. is so what? We have Ruby. Good looking. We have Ruby. We have Sapphire. Oh my stars, look at that. Oh my. Blue is purple. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> and one that seems to be a hot favorite right now that's been moving. It's kind of like a greenish turquoise. Oh, they call this the Montana sapphire. It's really see. Man, that is a knockout. They are you really gorgeous. see the diamonds come out from this one. They are gorgeous. These are three ninety five lists. Like I said. Wow. Between the discount code and all, you have them for like three hundred bucks. I mean, they're on the site. So really, really gorgeous pens. They really are. Ah. I want to move on. They're all Yogo. They're all Yogo. And the oversized Esther Brooks will also take that adapter. Okay. They will take the adapter because they're Yogo. Okay. To use vintage nibs. The next series I want to show you are Camden series pens. They're aluminum. They're metal. They're actually with Schmidt nibs. Uh, they're Schmidt number seven. They won't take the adapter because it's a totally different size. Of course, it's seven uh mills across you know fin to fin so these are seven millimeter that's what they mean guys when they talk about you know five mil uh, five number five nib number six number seven talk about the span across here okay you know, from fin to fin there so these are number seven schmidt these are aluminum these are called the camden and of course after the city all right look at that one born oh man so that's look. black it comes in a nice Good. rose Good. Oh man, the rose is pretty though too. Yeah, good looking, good looking pen. In aluminum, it comes in a nice aluminum. Now these are actually the same price as the regular SDs. These are one ninety five list. Again, pretty fair, nice weight aluminum pen, not super heavy. Uh, that nice yeah. large okay. number yeah. seven Schmidt nib. Schmidt nibs actually are really nice too. They write really well. We got five They're minutes. Really good. Okay. Five minutes. The other. One latest one is based on back to school. This is also the same price point. This is a composition uh, version of the Camden. Yeah. This is the composition notebook because you guys remember. I like it. Yeah. I'm with around you. my age. Yeah. You know what a I'm with notebook you. used to look like. Yeah. Uh, they got yeah, I'm with like you. That. There's also one that is called Highlighter Green, which actually moves pretty fast. I don't have any to show you at this point, but I can get them from Kenro. And it comes Highlighter Green. Again, same price point. And this is just a gorgeous pen. Same 195. New finishes in them. Right. Well. So, yeah. 
So that is, uh, that is everything. Well, then, well, it was a nice ride. It was a nice thank tour. Thank you. Uh, good information. I want to thank Great you. Great band. 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 is really good, yeah. yeah. Chance for me to share everybody uh, some of the things I have, some of the specials that I have right now, thanks to my sale and everyday low prices. Uh, I'd like to do this again maybe in, in the future sometime. We'll uh, look at other things. You know, I have a lot of exclusive brands. Uh, not only was I, Oster, of course, Oster's first U.S. dealer. I was Magna Carta's first U.S. dealer. I have an exclusive brand called Constellations 88. I'm big on independent pen makers, so I do have a lot of them from overseas. Uh, I also uh, have Opus 88 pens, uh, B New pens. Uh, basically, there's a lot of nice uh, brands out there. I represent over 20 pen brands. I have over 40 brands now. I'm really happy. Well, we'll have to do how another. Far I've grown in five we'll do years. Another you know? pen thing soon. Yeah, yeah. Be good. We'll yeah. do another pen thing soon. It'll be good. Uh, okay, man. But hey, thank, thank you for coming on. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for having awesome. me. Hey, I enjoyed it. Love your pins. And you. uh, hey, the best of luck to you out there, my friend. Thanks, Mike. So Great. we'll talk Good. again later. Okay, talk folks? Soon. Thanks a lot. Okay. Take care, my Thanks. friend. Thank you. Peace out. Thank Bye -bye. you, everybody. Thank you. Take care. Bye.